Thank you. I'd like to begin by thanking Chairman Conyers for holding this hearing today. It is vitally important that we continue to examine the recently enacted White House bill <clears throat> that drastically altered <clears throat> the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act. The so-called Protect America Act was rushed through Congress just before the August recess and gives unnecessary license for the administration to wiretap Americans without court supervision and, in my opinion, to trash the Fourth Amendment. I am particularly troubled by the administration's ongoing charm offensive. We have seen similar campaigns waged around other controversial and overbroad programs, the Patriot Act, the National Security Letter Authority, and Military Commissions Act, and others. Just last week, the Director of National Intelligence, Michael McConnell, had to retract earlier statements that the act helped German authorities thwart a suspected terrorist plot earlier this month. Also, Assistant Attorney General Kenneth Weinstein wrote lawmakers to say the act does not authorize physical searches of homes, domestic mail, or people's personal effects and computers. Let's have some truth in advertising. The act gives the president almost unfettered power to spy without judicial approval, not only on foreigners, but on Americans. The National Security Agency is now permitted without a warrant to access virtually all international communications of Americans with anyone outside the U.S., so long as the government maintains that the surveillance is directed at people, including citizens who are reasonably believed to be located outside the United States. Not reasonably believed to be terrorists or in communication with any foreign power, but simply to be outside the United States. I, for one, have little confidence in what this administration may consider reasonable in any event. We must not forget the lessons of history. Both the Fourth Amendment and the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act were responses to abuses by government officials who thought they were above the law. We all agree that we want to protect our national security and that foreign intelligence gathering is fundamentally different from domestic surveillance. We should, however, also agree that the power to invade people's privacy must not be exercised unchecked. As we consider how to fix the, Pre the Protect America Act, we must restore the fundamental freedoms that have been lost because of our recklessness. We must focus surveillance on terrorist activity and provide meaningful court review to protect the rights of Americans who will be spied on in our country. We must not trust this or any other administration to police itself. We must act now to restore much needed checks and balances into this damaged law. We must restore respect for a constitution that this administration obviously does not care about. Thank you. I yield back the balance of my time.